Pet owners banded together this past weekend in Bemidji along with a large group of their four-legged friends to help raise funds and awareness for two important organizations. Josh Peterson explains. It's not uncommon to see a fundraising walk for an organization during the summer. However, what sets this particular event apart from others is the fact that this walk unites two separate charitable organizations together for one common goal. It's a combo event. It's Bark for Life and Walk for Animals. Um, and it is an event in a, a fundraising event to help out the Great River Rescue here in Bemidji and also the American Cancer Society. So this is kind of what this event does. It just uh, brings together um, you know, the dogs and the people that have survived and just raising money for the awareness of the American Cancer Society. While this unique partnership has only been going for three years, it has grown each year, raising funds and awareness for both organizations. For some cancer survivors, it's events like this that not only support Great River Rescue and the American Cancer Society, but help those who are fighting cancer find a healthy support system. I actually get excited now and very emotional. Um, I started doing Relay for Life activities because I, I needed an outlet to help myself heal. And I knew that being around people that had the same passion would help me. Research has shown that dogs are not only great companions, but a great source of healing for cancer patients. So when I was in the hospital not too long ago, a couple months ago, my husband sent me a picture of my dog and I, it brought tears in my eyes because I missed him so much and I knew that he was something I got to go home to. Two groups coming together and walking side by side into the future, working to improve the lives of both pet and owner. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Contributions are still being accepted for both organizations. The American Cancer Society's Relay for Life in Bemidji is going to be held at the Sanford Center on July 9th. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.